How much money did my Amazon business made for the month of July 2023? You've read the title, um, things were not great this month. It was alright, it was expected, I should say. And if you've watched previous videos, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, so in today's video, as, every, as I do every month, I'm going to share with you what went right, what went wrong, how much money I made this month, and um, what I'm working on to improve next month, and what's my expectation for next month. You know that I made these videos every single month, every single first of the month, because because um, I think it's an invaluable resource if you find them in the future, if you want to see exactly how I grow my business step by step. Uh, and it's a way for me to be transparent because that way you know who you're talking to, you know if I'm legit or not, and you know if you should listen to me or not. Um, so yeah, before we actually dive into the numbers and I tell you what went right, what went wrong, I'm now offering one-on-one -on -one coaching if you want to scale your Amazon business, if you want to grow your Amazon business, link in the description, book a call with me, look at my availability, it's the best way to, to, to scale your business fast to, um, to a full-time income, so yeah, look at my availability, if you are interested, book a call, and I'm soon going to increase the prices, because it's not even worth my time, to be honest, at this price. Also, we have a Discord server, best place to meet new people, best place to network with people if you want to grow your network of Amazon sales. This is one of the things that is going to get you ahead. Best place to do it is in our Discord server. Whatever you say, you will always get an answer on the Discord server. We are not like these other servers, these other huge servers. Uh, people are always talking. So best way to, to network is get involved into the Discord server. So, how much money did I make this month? This month was the lowest month of the year for me on Amazon. I made, on the US market, I made 24,500, more or less 25, I think it's 25, 24, 537, something like that. I would need to look again on my phone. On the other market, uh, I made a few thousand as usual. I don't need to even check uh, uh, data in Mexico and in Canada. So I should be around 26, 27,000. Let's just call it 25. Um, because, uh, yeah, let's just call it 25 because we do not care about, we do not really care about the other markets, right? So, what went wrong and what am I, go uh, what, nothing went really wrong because it was expected. As I said last month, uh, I expected my business to make, this month to make in between 25,000 to 35,000. Um, because 25,000 is really my floor. Uh, it's been a while that I haven't hit the floor. So, um, yeah, I knew that it was going to, do, to, to, to be somewhere in that range, depending on FC transfer, a lot of external stuff, and um, a lot of things like that. No, why did this happen, and what did I learn from what happened? So, there's a few stuff. First of all, I lent some money to someone. Um, story, um, not, no, none of your business uh, that I haven't received yet. It, it's one of the reasons why, it was a couple of months ago, it was before I left the US, before I, was, before I started traveling. So uh, one of the reasons that my sales went down, it's the combination, combination, if you know what I mean, of a couple of things. So there's that. Um, after that, there's two orders that are placed like six weeks to eight weeks ago um, that have never been delivered. So it was on smaller website, on the smaller website, like on more niche website, and I don't know if I got scammed or stuff, but like... I did a reclamation, I, I, I disputed the transaction on PayPal because I paid on PayPal whenever I try a small website, I pay on PayPal. And uh, yeah, so that's one of the other things that add up onto that. And so I think I'm not really going to order from small website anymore right now because it's not, it's not like super niche website that looks like kind of shady, but that looks legit at the same time. I don't think they're a scam. I just think that the products that are ordered are really back ordered. Um, a lot and so I will need to wait. So this is one of the things that slowed me down as well. Um, other thing, you've seen it, I've been traveling. Um, yeah, I've been traveling so I took a, a, a little money to out of the business to do this but you know that with Amazon it takes a little time for things to actually reflect in your business. So that's three. Number four, I took some money from the Amazon business to invest in other stuff. So you know that I bought a, a, a big computer for the YouTube channel, all that stuff. I invested in all the projects that I hinted about in the, uh, right here on YouTube that I've not really talked about a lot. And they will be public soon. Um, so that's another reason. And also, I did not take full advantage of the back to school reason. Not only because I did not have a lot of capital to invest into it because of all this stuff that I did, and because I was buying replants, um, I was buying leads that I've tested in the past. Also, 
one thing that you must know is that I learned, like, I, I forgot to talk, to talk to you about my margins for this month. So, my margins for this month, not only I, I had the slowest month for the year, for the year 2023, but I had, the, I had the lowest margin I had ever had. So, my margins are close to, to, to 13% this month. And just because, and I was able to track down why with Amp, Um there's a product that I went super deep in stock with um, that had a 20% return. Nothing bad, nothing bad up to this. Um, nothing bad, nothing bad with that. You can still make money with products on, uh, that have a 20% refund. Refund rate, the only thing is that only 40% of the returns that I have with this product are resellable. And I was able to figure that out with... Um, with seller board because and this is why it's super important to know your number because because of that this product just because of that this product it turned a 50 percent return on investment to zero and almost neg and, and, and like negative one negative two and on some of them more than that on some sizes because it's a clothing item um return on, like so the return investment on investment went super down because of that and it killed my margin this month so you'll even learn and um, I almost bought more inventory for this stuff. I went super deep, by the way. Was to most of my sales this month. And it sells super fast, but it's really like the, the return rate and the percentage of returns that are resellable. Like I will need to, to, to liquidate um, all the other units on eBay when I get back in the US. But it really killed my margin. It really killed my margin a lot. And so you live and learn, as I said, this is something that... Um, I will always look at, I will always test products for the refund rate, like niche, because this, this was a niche that I did not really know that well. And uh, if you don't know, I'll say to you, it's shapewear, you know, like it's corset stuff like that for, for ladies. And the return rates are huge on them, not only that, but like um, you cannot resell them because it's tried on and stuff like that. And so it's not in the packaging anymore so i, I took a, a huge loss on that and this is something that i will not sell in the future you know um even though it sells super fast but because like the margins looks great at first but when you compute the return in like it's terrible it's really terrible so this add on top of that and so this is why it was one of my worst month of um of the year no what am i gonna do this month what's the plan for this month this month uh, it's the same thing as last month i, I mean it's it's more probable that it ends up being a scaling month or the beginning or, or, of a scaling phase because right now i'm really in the maintenance phase as i said uh it depends on two things first and we really on one thing first i should have i did not take the the new loan offer that i had last month as you guys know I should receive the new loan offer tomorrow because I receive my loan offer every month on the second. I haven't taken them for like three, four months now. So uh, I'm waiting for better, better terms and more money. And we'll see if it's enough this month. Um, and even though it ends up being enough, I'm not sure that I will actually take it. Uh, and I doubt that they really gave me like a huge increase because since this month is the, the worst month I had this month, like usually they will not give you a huge increase. But even if I do have a, a, a huge increase in the terms, uh, in the money and better terms, I'm not sure I will actually take the money right now because I have no issue with my business being on maintenance mode for um, a little like a little more at first i wanted to scale my business during the summer things end up they, like because with traveling all that stuff taking money out of the business and stuff because of that investing in other in other business um not a business venture such as this youtube channel things stars were not aligned for me to scale um so I'm fine with, you know, with this level, with this level of revenue, I, I, I can live perfectly fine um, from my Amazon business. Not really this month, but like, it's fine. Like, because this month, you guys know, like, my margins were terrible, but like, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, if it's just one month, it's fine. You know, you make mistakes sometimes and you learn from it. But um, I'm fine with my business between in this range, being in this range, like the 25 to 35,000. Um... Eventually, you know, I wanted to scale to 50,000 this summer. As I said, I did not do it um, because of what I said, because of a lot of stuff that happened. 
which is fine. Uh, but I really, and this is why, you know, I'm not sure if I actually want to take a loan this month because I, I also need to tell you, and I haven't talked a lot about it yet, but I switch, I'm currently switching prep center, so I'm not sure if this month will be the best month to actually scale because, you know, it's time to put new processes in place, stuff like that, making the transition between two prep centers, it's not easy. And I'll talk a little bit more about that when the transition will be totally over. But, um, yeah, it, it, it's a lot of stuff that I need to work on this month. There's a lot of stuff that I need to work on this month. And this first, the transition to the new prep center. Now, um, I was saying something else, yeah, about the loan. I think I want to let the loan grow, the, the, the money grow, and the terms be better until Q4, maybe, because it's August, September, October, November, December. Yeah, if maybe i let it go for two more months three more months maybe nah maybe not because maybe i should just take the money this month and take a refinance in three months with more money for q4 i'm really unsure about that this is something that i need to think about another thing is that i will finally I'll apply for a new chase inc business card this month um, I applied for one three months ago, like two months and a half, so on the 18, I should be, like, because I'm waiting 90 days. So I think it's on the 18, I will be able to apply for a new card. I will apply for my first charge card, the, um, the, um, the Chase Inc. Premier, uh, that gives you 2% on everything, just because um, I do not want the two other Chase Inc. cards that will be left for me to apply for, or 0% APR cards. And I want to grow my um, business credit a little bit more before I actually apply for them. So I can have bigger, bigger limits with 0% APR and really use them to scale. So um, this is what I want to do. And I think I will stop applying for Chase cards for a little while, a few months after that. I think I'm going to try to get into the, the Amex um, ecosystem with the Amex Blue... What's the name of the card? The Amex Blue Business Preferred. Here you go. Um, because it's one of the easiest card, easiest business card to get with Amex, and eventually, a few months after that, get the plum, so I can get the plum for Q4 and really push FBM products with the plum and use that to scale. I think it would be interesting because if you don't know, the Amex plum, you have 60 days to 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 to, to pay back your cards to charge cards to pay back whatever you paid with, um, and with the other cards, with the other charge cards, usually you only have 30 days. No. This is my plan with credit cards. Um, maybe, maybe it's going to change, but yeah. First thing this month, I'm going, I'm going to apply for the Chase Inc. Premier. Premier. Maybe I'm going to apply on the, uh, the same, around the same time um, for, the, for, for the Amex Business Blue Preferred, or whatever it's called. And then we'll see from there. Yeah, I don't know if I'll go back to Chase Inc. cards or if I'll, I'll go with the Plum. If I get approved for the, for the Amex Business Blue Preferred, the Blue Business Preferred, whatever it's called, I forgot. Um, yeah, I'll go with the, um, the, the Omex plan a few months after that. If not, we will go back to the Chase Inc. card and use, even if it's not huge limits, um, try to use them to scale at least one. Um, so, yeah, that's everything that, that I have to do with credit. Uh, yeah, it's all about getting ready for Q4. As I said, we are trying to get ready for Q4, getting everything that we need, and it, it, it is capital that I need to scale right now. Um, hopefully, the prep center... Um, I will not share my prep center for multiple reasons. I'll talk more about that in my in my in my prep center in, when I make my video on my old prep center and why I change and stuff like that. Uh, you, you'll get to know everything in due time. All right, you'll get to know everything in due time. It's going to be soon. Um, in the meantime, yeah, this is how my month is going. I'm waiting for the, for for tomorrow to see if I get an interesting loan offer. Um, if not, I'll wait for the for the, for the month after. And if uh, so it will be September, right? It will be the month of September. Yeah, and if in September I do not have an interesting loan offer, if I, I, I'm not okay with the interesting loan, uh, with the loan offer, I will not take a loan until Q4. So I will be, I guess I will be on maintenance and slow growth until Q4, if it's the case. Hopefully not. Um, and it depends also if I get the, the, the Amex plan. It depends on a lot of stuff. But right now, um, I decided I'm not going to, and I said it multiple times, I'm not going to invest um, cash from my from my own like, from my own money into the business anymore. Just because I want to build other business, and I used profits from the Amazon business 
to start building other business, um, other, other, other income stream. So yeah, that's how I view things right now. Um, it may change after Q4, but right now until Q4, I'm not going to inject any more cash from, from, from my own pocket into the business. I really want to leverage credit and build business credit. And I'm fine with my business doing like worst case scenario. If my business is needs to stay on, on maintenance mode for like three, four, maybe five months, it's fine. Like I have a long term vision. And uh, I'm fine with, you know, slow growth in the, in, the, in the short term because I know that after Q4, worst case scenario, if during Q4 I cannot do it after Q4 in the beginning of 2024, I will be to, able to inject way more money into the business. So, that's where we're at right now. Um, this is everything that I have to say about this month, uh, my business this month. Uh, I took a few L's, I told you guys. It's a lot of small things on top of the others that added for that went for my business that, that made my business go to its floor. Uh, and as I said, I'm super blessed to have a floor that is at twenty-five thousand dollars revenue because for a lot of you guys, I know that this is like uh, for a lot of you guys, it's numbers that you want to reach that you've not been able to reach. Um, but yeah, I, and I really think that improve. Like, how should I say this? To make my business better to improve i should really it's like leveling from 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 the bottom so it's bringing bringing the bad months up because my good months are close to forty thousand. even when you take um when you take uh, canada and mexico sales it's above forty thousand. so um i think really my goal should really be to increase the slow months like make my floor higher uh, because there's a big discrepancies in between my slow months and my big months, so it's really about, I think it's going to be really about first before actually chasing new highs, it's going to be bringing those low months higher. Um, so yeah, another thing that I forgot to talk about is the fact that I cannot handle returns right now and I need to find a company handling returns for Amazon sellers. Uh, I don't think my prep centers does it, I need to ask though. But um, yeah, because right now all my returns are sitting uh, at my house in Miami so yeah I cannot work with them I cannot sell them back and so it's a lot of income as well so um, yeah I will need to find a, a company that can check actually returns from Amazon see if we can send them back see if we can liquidate them on eBay I will need to look for that if you, if you know any if you watch the video until here if you know any link in the description um, no not link in the description leave them in the description I'm sorry let me know because I'm interested in hiring such company and yeah if someone and all my returns uh and yeah that's pretty much it for this month i think join the discord server link in the description if you need a call if you need help scaling your amazon business um if you want to eventually reach floors just like me of twenty five thousand dollars a month uh, and you want to reach them fast link in the description and pro potentially higher than that if you have more capital than me uh, i can help you grow even past me and so it would be an honor to actually help someone grow bigger and faster than me so um yeah that's where we're at right now if you want to keep learning about selling on amazon watch these videos on the screen and i'll see you tomorrow because i release a new video every single day about selling on amazon uh yeah i'll see you tomorrow thank you for watching